Let's catch up with the blogger to the nation and columnist at the Daily Telegraph, Tim Blair. Tim, good to talk to you. I know you'll be fired up for a road trip uh, on the long weekend. No doubt you'll have been heeding these warnings I noticed in the media yesterday that EV drivers ought to plan their charging schedule <laughs> because there's going to be queues across the country. I mean, I don't know what good this does you because you charge up your car, um, it might get you to yes, then what? Then you hit the queue. Well, you know, just stay in Yass, you know, <laughs> it, uh, it's a great place. It's got a, a fascinating hotel, actually, Yes, I recall um, one of the more intriguing murals on uh, on that uh, at, at that building. But uh, this, this has happened before. We've seen in the US when uh, EV uh, numbers reach a certain point, public holidays are, disa are disastrous because you have so many people out there driving around their EVs and they always end up charging. And there are... Look at YouTube and you'll find videos of people... Um, on uh, US public holiday weekends, and they're way lined back in their EVs <laughs> waiting, to, waiting to get them charged up. We're going to see the same because they take a long time, man. I just imagine the family going across the hay plane. Dad, can I put the air conditioner on? No, no, no. We're no. not going to make Bell Reynolds. <laughs> it's just going to be a shambles. <laughs> hey, st sticking on climate policies and a bit of hypocrisy, you remember yeah. Davos, and every year at Davos, uh, all, all, all the movie stars and politicians and business people fly in on private private jets. They're going there to save the world and preach uh, preach uh, uh, renewable energy and the like, and, and they go in their private jets. I've got to show you, this is incredible. This is uh, the, the, the US special climate envoy, as he is now, the former Senator uh, John Kerry. This is him responding to the whole private jet thing. Have a look. You know, people who go to Davos to talk about climate change fly private. It seems like they don't want to make... Um... Well, they actually, I've talked to them about it. They offset they yeah. buy offsets, they offset, and they are working harder than most people I know to be able to try to affect this transition. Right. They offset, Tim, and they work hard. They are the ones really doing the heavy lifting here. I mean, talk about just your class war indicators. For a start, you're flying in private jets, so you're super wealthy. Secondarily, you've got enough spare money lying around that you can buy offsets. It's, it, this is absolutely a war of the rich against people, or everyone who isn't rich, really. Yeah. Everyone else below that super rich level. And I love reading places like The Guardian, you know, we're meant to be left-wingers. Here's, here's the biggest class war of their lifetimes happening right in front of them, and those stupid idiots can't see it. It's fantastic. It's, yeah. it's, it's hypnotic. It is so true. This is so working families in developed countries can stay poor and get poorer. Yeah. And poor people in developing countries can't have the energy to lift them out of poverty. Yet these people are the heroes with their offsets and their billions. It's extraordinary. There's another extraordinary snippet here I want to show you from the US. This is Nancy Pelosi talking with Hillary Clinton. Have a look. The interference in our democracy by Vladimir Putin because... Hillary Clinton was the person he feared most in terms of his lack of democracy in Russia. That's, I think, self-evident. So thank you for what you have done. Hasn't she got this all wrong? It wasn't it Hillary Clinton running the absolute Russia nonsense? Yeah, uh, she ran for the best part of, you know, four years, up until the 2020 election when a, a new stolen election theme kicked in, that... Um, Everything from 2016 was the stolen election here and, and the Russians were involved. By the way, that um, that beverage container next to Nancy Pelosi didn't look like a, the usual vodka bottle, did it? <laughs> but zero in a bit on that. <laughs> but look, I didn't see what she was drinking, but I tell you what, she wasn't talking, <laughs> making much sense. Thanks for joining us, Tim. Appreciate it.